At the end of 2008, the IBC Television Network began requiring that all affiliate stations must produce a nightly news program. Due to the shortfalls in its budget, WJMK-TV, IBC's Jefferson Falls, Wisconsin affiliate, was unable to afford the cost of hiring a professional news team. Instead, station manager Jonathan Jones made the decision to form a news team consisting solely of college interns. This is their story. Firefighters battled the blaze well into the morning. Luckily, no one was injured in the fire, but damage was estimated at over $100,000. In other news, a salmonella outbreak has affected several patrons of a local restaurant. Four people were diagnosed with food poisoning and hospitalized after purchasing and consuming meals from a local eatery. Tacos, 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 tacos. Health officials from the CDC are recommending that anyone who purchased meals from the restaurant within the last week visit a physician and dispose of any remaining leftovers. And that's the news tonight. I'm Allie Stewart. And I'm Brad Hudson. For the whole WJMK news theme, have a pleasant evening. talking yourself about this time. Adam, I don't have time. I'm really in a hurry. I've got memorizers. You know, what, what is it about Americans and pranks? Dude, they're awesome. I, have you ever stuck someone's fingers in warm water and made them pee themselves? It's hilarious. No! How could you not do that? This is, this is not hilarious behavior. This is... Bro, making a grown man pee himself? There is nothing funnier than that. Yeah, and, and the, you know, how do you do that without somebody waking up? I mean, in all honesty, without them knowing that you're doing it. See, it doesn't make sense to me. These pranks... Well, if you think it's that hard, maybe you should try it out. Are, are you kidding? I would never fall for any of these American silly, goofy pranks. Are you trying to say you think you're smarter? I'm trying to say, uh, listen to my superior linguistic skills and you'll know I'm smarter. Sounds like you're talking through rubber, bro, but what I'm thinking is we have a competition. Oh. Uh, Oh, all right, well, what, do you, what do you propose? Well, if you think I can't get you, I say, if I prank you, by the end of the day, you have to say on your newscast and your story that the Americans kicked your people's butts in the Revolutionary War. Such Mr. Confidence? Such an outrageous as a lie, and it's... Well, all right, all right, you know? And if you can't, by the end of the day, then you have to say on your broadcast that cricket is better than baseball. Well, it's not, so I hope you enjoy getting your butt kicked. Well, I hope you enjoy cricket. No, I will. Dude, the only thing I know about cricket is I step on them, they go, hey! Whatever. <laughs> I got a few notes for you. I want to go over. Okay. Ridiculous. Really? Shoot box. Yeah. Um, well, first off, Brad, you had some pretty good pronunciation. Uh, I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, but the only problem is, is that uh, he sucked. The president's name is Obama. So. What, what, what did I say? You said, Obama. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> What's an Obama? Dude. So, 
Might want to, you know, just so double check that next time. Uh, Allie. Yeah. Great as always. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Was my intonation okay? Uh, yeah, it was. I don't know what that is, but it was good. <laughs> okay. Intonation. Don't they make cupcakes? <laughs> they do. Uh, They're good cupcakes. Some, some might think so. Delish. Uh, I need stories about something other than the Cubs. You can't just always report on the Cubs, man. It's the only thing that's going on right now that's actually worth listening to. Well, I realize that, but we're, you got to understand we're in a Wisconsin market. I know. I'm just trying to change people's opinions a little bit. You know, cha change people can believe in. Little Obama, if you will. Hope for change, man. Yeah. Hope for change. Okay, I understand that. In the future, if you'd be nice enough to just maybe, you know, add in a story or two about the Badgers, would be much appreciated. It's like three Cub stories, one Badger suck story, and then like the Bucks. The Bucks season's minus already down the, the toilet. Yes, minus the socks. Surfing competition. Instead of socks, instead of sucks, go Bucks, is what I say. That's what they taught me. Anyway. Straight. Okay, yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I, I can't believe that there's nothing I can do to improve. Um, Quit asking so many questions. Yes, there's a good... You don't need to raise your hand when you... Uh, <laughs> Look, I Professor to... John. <laughs> Look, she's just trying to advance her career as a news girl. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying to advance my career as a news girl, too. Yeah, you're doing a good job. Are we, are we all? Uh, John, uh, that big blue thing. Yes. Yeah, it's cool, right? pointy things. It's cool, right? It's called a cold front. So it kind of, it's, yeah. So that's what that is. If you just want to, yeah. Okay. So in other ways, I didn't know. That's why I do sports. Insult the weather guy about the weather, because it's not. I'm just. He, he it doesn't is, know anything about it. It is kind of in his title, weather guy. That's true. Like maybe if he was like arts guy, then yeah. he wouldn't understand. But I think, man, he might know. But I, I went. I, I finished half a program at community college for this. I know what I'm talking That's about. half more of a program than most people I know com uh, completed. Okay. Plus, he knows how to say Obama. It's true. Got him beat. I'm uh, sorry, bro. It was all over the news. I don't know how you couldn't know. Look, I've been watching video of myself trying to improve. I want to get better. Just. You should probably try watching credible video instead of YouTube videos. <laughs> Okay. Anyways, well, anyway, where were you, mister, on our so, perfect newscast? I, uh, n tomorrow, when we pick up the news again, uh, I think you guys did good. We just need to do a little better, uh, and we can, so I'm not worried about that. I think, I think it's just going to go uphill from here. Uh, uh, is he done? Or? Yeah, yeah. What's he, going he on left. here? I need to that was his tonight, so can we kind of wrap Can I be him? Can I do that? Do you want to be the anchor? Yeah, why not? People love me. You can sit in the chair until... Oh, whoa! Oh, no. No. Him? Anchor? No. Okay. Oh, come on, man. Have, have you seen this guy? You did say oh, Obama. I have. You uh, can't even say uh, the president's name. Did you come in bank today? Exile. Uh, exile? Always. Do you know what that means? Okay. So, like, where's my buddy Reggie at? Uh, oh, I sent him out to uh, do a remote shoot. Do like a news package. Where at? Uh, he didn't stick around to actually let me tell him where <laughs> he was supposed to go. Those Brits. They're yeah. crazy. I, I guess that's the way they do it at the BBC. I don't know. That's but why nobody it's... watches it. All right. Hello, this is Reginald Barrymore down here reporting on something. I have absolutely no idea what's really going on. I was just told to go out and make a news package, and this was the first place I stopped. Uh, we have a very nice building here. And apparently there's restricted parking for service vehicles only. I'm not entirely sure what this building is, per se. It appears to be made of brick. Some sort of mortar involved. Uh, excuse me, sir, could we uh, have a moment of your time? Uh, I gotta get going. No, just, just a brief interview, sir. Just, uh, uh, not with you, sorry. No, come, come. Let me go. Uh, yeah, hold on. Come back here. I said come back here. All right. It seems I snagged my first catch of the day. No. Sir, tell me. No. Hey, hey, what? hey. What do you want? Do, go. Hey, do, I need to, do I need to pull that out again? No. No, you don't. All right, that's no. what I thought. Just let me go. Are we going to settle down? No. Yeah. All, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. it would seem that I've caught my first catch of the day. This man can tell me a little bit more about the building behind me. The building is uh, it's a very important building, and uh, it's, it's good because there's a lot of people inside. All right. Well, what what do the people inside do? They uh they manufacture very important 
things. Oh, come on, Could you go. be a little bit more specific? Oh, they, they, we manufacture weapons for hurting people that grab people by the arm. Are, are you serious? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, serious. Better let me go. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. I'm just going to assume that he's lying because I'm implying a great amount of pressure on his oh. wrist. It... I, I, what, I, you've got to the count of ten to get out of my face right now. Yeah, One, yeah. two, ten. Nat Obama, it's okay. Hey, Allie. Oh, hey. How's it going? Uh, it's, it's okay. But you're in now. You know, I can't believe that he said that there wasn't anything to improve on. Well, Everybody's got something to improve on. That's because you're perfect. Ugh, I know that's what he said, but... So, do you eat much? Why? You think well, I have to like, lose some? No, no. Oh my like, gosh, I... You no. know, I, I put on a couple over like the weekend, but I didn't think it showed that much. No, you, you, look, you look great, it's just... Are you okay? Yeah. Like, uh, sometimes I like to go to restaurants with friends, and... Yeah, I wish I had time for that right now, but I have to study for the LSATs, and then I have to go and I need to... I think I need to improve my diction a little bit. He said that you had really good diction, but I don't know. He didn't really say anything about me, so... Then I'm, yeah, so... Anyways, yeah, good. Nice talking to you. Bye. What's your problem? I just don't understand how I need to come up with other sports stories besides the Cubs. <laughs> Dude, you're ridiculous. I'm ridiculous. I just saw that smooth move you pulled over there, buddy. Uh, like you'd do better? Dude, women are like microwave burritos at gas stations. You never know how old they are. You never know how they're going to be until you microwave them, they explode, and then you're like, oh, there was beef in that one. I got the wrong one. You just never know until the end. Uh -huh. you, you, you failed in the beginning, my friend. Well, you asked her if she ate much. You don't, you don't bring up food around women. Then they're like, even if they're like 40 pounds, they're like, oh my god, uh, I ate too much. And that doesn't work. Look, it's been a while, all right? Clearly a while. Can You can do better? Dude, yeah. All right, let's see it. You want to see it? Let's see it. Okay. I, I'm going to finish figuring out this just mind-bottling thing that he told me about these my, stories. My, don't you mean mind-boggling? Yeah, mind bottling. I'm gonna finish thinking about that. I'll be over there in a minute, and you just watch and learn, son. Alright, alright. I've we'll never see. had a problem with we'll this. We'll see. Do you eat much? Pfft, idiot. Shut up. Shut up. I got it. I know what I'm gonna say. Hey, Ellie, what's up? Oh, oh hey, Adam. Yeah, that's, I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm all right. Just a little confused as to why I've got to do stories other than the Cubs, but I guess that's the way it happens. You know, a little diversity isn't a bad thing. Uh, I can debate that with you all day, but, you know, I, I, you did a good job. I don't know what you're sitting over here studying your notes for. You know, I mean, it's great, and I, I really appreciate that, you know, people are liking what I do here, but... There's always something that needs to get better, you know? It's, it's professionalism. When I get compliments, I stop there because it makes life a lot more easy. But I mean, yeah. speaking of easy, <laughs> um, is there a mirror in your pocket? Uh, what? Oh, my, I don't have pockets. They're fake. Uh, oh, well, um, you, you, you a parking ticket? No, I'm a person. I, I, I can see that. Um, I, uh, I lost my teddy bear. You sleep with the teddy bear? Yes. How old are you? Come home with me. No, so you don't want to do half price appetizers? Two for one. Get some out of the park on the first try. At least she slapped me. I was man enough to get that. Jerk. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, Reggie, great. I mean
I'm glad I ran into you. Oh, uh, what's up, boss? Uh, I was wondering if you're willing to do this. We need somebody to go out on location and do an on-location shoot for the news tonight. Oh, absolutely. What's the job? I'm willing. I'm ready. Oh, I'm able. Okay. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Actually, it turns out that uh, the mayor's uh, putting through this new four-point plan. Yes. And uh, so, if you could head down to the mayor's office. Yes, yes. And do like a location shoot. The whole, the whole deal. Amazing. Yes, absolutely. This, this is my big, cheap, big break. This is great. This is great stuff. Thank you. You have no idea how wonderful this is. Thank you, sir. I will let you do. Ah! Uh, why did I hire a British guy? All right. First big one. That'll be good. That'll be good. All right. Close that. You can do this. You're a winner. You're a winner. You are a winner. Ah. All right. What's the story, Reggie? Ah. If you must know, Mr. I can't think of an original thought for a story, I have a very important meeting with the mayor at his office. The mayor? Yeah, the a, mayor. A, I'm sure the mayor's going to tell you what you're going to say in your story, not you. B, you guys don't even have mayors. Over across the pond, you got Govna, and I'll Govna, T and Crumpets. Yeah, oh, oi, oi, oi. Terrible. Terrible. Ugh. You just. What's that terrible? It's so true. You, know, you, you seem to forget. You think that, oh, it's just so important that, like, England used to own you and now they don't. And don't, don't sit there and, and, and put down my government. My government, which has been in place for well over. A century, you know. It wasn't good enough when we left. Yeah, well, why? Why is he supposed you left? We kicked you out. Don't let the don't let the books fool you. You're just jealous that we had an awesome tea party. Ugh, ugh. You know, yeah, you know, That's that's a problem with Americans. They all think that the rest of the world is envious of them just because Canada above them sucks and Mexico below them wants to be part of them. No one is that interested. You know, you know, your Ponzi git. You know that. You, you I don't just, even know what a git is. You, well, it just goes to show. There you go. Yeah. Point. Point what's proven. A, what's a Ponzi and a git? It sounds like something my grandma wears to like formal occasions. I think you're someone who I don't want to talk to anymore. That's why. We should get ready for your story. I hope the mayor wants to talk to you, buddy. God, what a scallywag. The mayor's office. <laughs> Abandoned parking lot. Blink. Blinking. Huh, didn't think it was that long. Welcome to the WJMK News. I'm Brad Hudson. And I'm Allie Stewart. Here's what's happening in your world tonight. The National Weather Service has issued a winter weather storm warning for the entire WJMK viewing area through the rest of the night. We now go to John Reeves in the WJMK Weather Center with the story. Alright, what's up dudes? Here's the latest from the weather deck. Tomorrow we got some cold coming in from this area and it'll be sweeping through. We're looking at 18 to 24 inches of snow. Sucks. You have to put your boots on, lug through that, shovel out your car, shovel your neighbor's sidewalk, let your dog out in the snow, shovel your grandma's sidewalk, and your mom's sidewalk. In the northern part of the state, we're going to be looking at real cold temperatures, negative 12, negative 14. So glad I don't live up there. In the central portion of the state, we're going to be looking, you know, average temperatures. It's going to be cool, going to be sweet. And in the central portion of the state, we're going to be looking at some gunfire. The mayor will be announcing his new four-point plan for Jefferson Falls tonight. Our on-scene correspondent, Reginald Barrymore, is reporting live on the scene. Ah, dude, watch this. It's great. Hello, this is Reginald Barrymore. I'm standing at what appears to have once been maybe the mayor's office, at least according to the directions I got off the internet. As you can see behind me, this is obviously not a building, but indeed a parking lot. I believe that perhaps 
the economic downturn of America has even affected our public officials. Perhaps the Audi around the corner there is actually the mayor's office. But without securing the proper uh, ID at the door, because there's no door to speak of, I can't go over to talk to him. You think they would have uh, come up with some sort of a better plan than turning the office into a parking lot and having people work out of their cars, but that's what I'm going for. Perhaps there'll be someone that I can talk to. Excuse me, sir. Perhaps, can we talk? <laughs> you again? You! Hold on. Come back here. It's snowing! <laughs> I didn't even know it was gonna <laughs> I have here a willing participant in today's oh event here. Tell me, sir, what happened to the mayor's are office? You, are you even a real reporter? What? Are you- oh, Are you gonna answer the question? Uh, yes, yeah. I guess. <laughs> it's so cold out, look at it. <laughs> That's not the mayor's office! <laughs> it's a party <laughs> Well, since this truck apparently is the mayor's office now, you know, so, um, basically speaking, you know, come to think, I don't think oh. you really, ah. stop struggling! Dude, yes! Wait, wait, oh, calming breaths, calming breath. Wait, this isn't directions to the mayor's office. This is... Adam! Ugh! Oh man, that's great. Wait a minute. Reggie, don't you have something you need to say to me now? Huh? The Americans kicked our bums in the Revolutionary War. There, I said it. I'm going home. Oh man, <laughs> I told him I could get him. I said I would get him. I oh my god, that was so easy. I just. Okay, that shot. Um, I don't know what we should do to transition between the two. Uh, you wanna you wanna crossfade to the on on scene guy? Oi, oi, that oi. Be... Where's that blimey bloody horse swallow gad licking piece of bint? Yeah, Adam, where is he? Downstairs in the studio. Oh, that's that's right. That's right. See this? This pie? His face. That's what it's come down to. As soon as he touches it, because you know he can't resist food, obviously. As soon as he touches it, kablooey. All over his face, everything in a 10 meter radius. That's what it's come down to. You have an exploding pie? What are you, Bugs Bunny? You know how angry the mayor was? It was horrible. Not only did I get snow all over my leather jacket. Not only that, then I had to deal with the mayor's bodyguard. Not a very nice gentleman. Not a nice up. Oh, it's what it's come down to. He's going down. Touch kablooey. It'll be great. You, it's classic. You don't mess with a classic. It'll be, it'll be, you wait and see. All right. Uh, anyway, good luck with that. You're insane. All right. So we got, yeah, let's, let's do the crossfade and see how that works. All right. Because that might, might clear it up. What type of third do you want coming up? Alright, alright, I left it there for him. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> it's gonna be brilliant. He, he didn't even know that I put it there. So at any moment now, Kablooey, he won't be able to resist it. I mean, it's a cream pie. Who can resist a cream pie? How long is that gonna take? I, I think Dude, I left my watch in the no, snow. You gotta try that pie on there. That was so delicious. That was like epic. I, dude, it's great. I'm, oh my god, that was so good. You're gonna be blowing my knock knock. What's going on? Oh, what the niggas? What's going on with it? Don't say a word. No, you you look good. <laughs> you look like Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.